Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing 10 things I use every day. So make sure you stay tuned and the links to everything will be down below in the description bar. Let's get into it. Okay, so I was trying to figure out like, you know, which one to do first, but to be honest with you, these are honestly things that I use every single day and I don't know how I'm going to pick an order. But anyway, I'm going to just reach my hand here and I can start with that. All right, so I know what to start with. When I wake up in the morning, I have to have some co coffee, right? So this is my coffee machine. I'm the only one in the house that drinks, um, wait, what's this kind of coffee? Not instant coffee, non-instant coffee, the coffee machine coffee, um, filtered coffee, whatever, whatever it's called, I drink this. So this is great. It actually can give you up to eight cups of coffee. It's by the brand um, OXO, O-X-O. And um, why I chose this was it had really good ratings. The only thing that this doesn't have is it doesn't have an automatic switch for me to just come downstairs and the coffee is ready. But anyway, um, it can do single serve and as I said, up to eight cups. But what's really cool is, oh, there we go, handy dandy knee. If I don't want to use the carafe, then I can just place this around so that I can um, put a coffee cup or my um, tumbler. And then I just put it right under here. This little button under here, once you engage it with your cup or something like that, actually, I don't even know what I'm saying. That has nothing to do with it. You put your coffee cup under here and you can get a single cup. It makes a really good brew. It's very easy to clean and other than a paper filter it just has this which is also easy to clean then the then the mesh one that yeah put my water in the back here and usually i just set up everything from the night before while i'm doing remy's lunch pan i'll just put my coffee my filter my water put my cup under so in the morning when i come downstairs the first thing i do is i just press the power button and press how many cups i want Usually I drink, a, I actually just realized, I drink a lot of coffee in the morning. I need to actually cut down. So I press the button here that says five to eight cups and it just goes into my tumbler and yeah, good to go. I think I'm gonna buy a smaller tumbler because I'm, that means I'm drinking four to five cups of coffee in the morning. That is ridiculous, that's ridiculous. So anyway, this is my number one thing that I use first thing in the morning um, on my, list of 10 things I need to use every day. My coffee machine. All right, I said, like, as I said, I can't really go in order because I missed out this one. So a lot of these things, you would have seen me speak about them before in like an Amazon favorite favorites video, but to be honest with you, these things are, I use them every day. So you may have seen them before, so just, just bear with me or you know something I like. The next thing is my silicone body brush. And I'm glad I have this out because I actually need to clean this today. I'll just let this sit in some boiling water. So this is great because as I said, it can be cleaned. Um, silicone harbors less germs and less mold than like a rag or a flannel or whatever you may be using, that glove. And the glove is what I used to use before. So I'll just drop this in some hot water every two weeks or so when I see it getting, just like, see, you can see some hard water where the white is, some hard water there. Um, so on this side, you have a body massager. So I'll use this to rub my, legs and upper legs for the cellulite and just for good blood flow and like a lymphatic drainage and then these liquor fuzzy things here i just rub my soap on it and it really gives a good lather and i just made it smells so good and then i'll use this too for my body wash as well and I, what i made is a process i spent a very long time in the bathroom i use soap i use body wash i use all kind all when is i wash her day and shave day i mean there for 25 30 minutes anyway so yes my silicone body brush is a must ah here's number three on my list it is my Lysol wipes container. Now this container comes, now it comes in two different sizes, in this small size and they have also the larger size. So I bought the larger size for the kitchen. At first they only had this small size, which is absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, um, it comes in different colors and it just helps to, it just looks neater. It just looks so, and this is by Cole, this brand here, this one is by Cole, I'm sure they have other brands. Um, but it just looks neater like this on the counter rather than like, the plastic container with the loud bright label so yeah 
I love this. Um, I have these all over in the bathrooms, um, kitchen. As I said, I have one here in my closet. I just find that I'm always cleaning, always wiping up, and this is a quick, easy grab, and it kind of goes in with like the aesthetics of the clean, easy look. So yeah. And then I'd like to say that the metal or the container keeps the wipes moist, but that could just be lying. It just looks good. Let's keep everything smelling nice, smelling nice. So I love Febreze. I love Febreze, I love Febreze. I've been trying out this one um, of late. This is the Unstoppable, so you have to shake it up and then you spray it. But um, I love, I love Febreze. So um, before, when I'm, have the kids in the bath i like to just spray their room i'll spray my room when i take the pillows off the bed um and just just spray it i like you know going into the rooms and they smell nice and they feel nice you know when the couches have been vacuumed or just in here like in the closet if like i'm feeling like it's frowsy or i just want to spray i love to spray i just spray some febreze and it's more than just a room spray it's it's like it just, it's like freshness. I'm just reading the label here. It's just like a burst of freshness with every touch. Oh my gosh, a fabric refresher. Yes, it's a fabric refresher. It's more than just a, um, uh, like a perfume or like a, we call it an aerosol can spray. Um, I really, really love Febreze. And you know, especially like when I'm packing, not that I do that very often, but when I'm packing, I'll just spray out my suitcase. For example, I pack Levi with an extra uniform in his school bag, just because he's in, he's going into K2. Sometimes the things in there get a little frowsy. I don't wash them. I don't wash the uniform. I just take it out every two weeks, spray it, flash it out, fold it back up in a little bag, and we're good to go. So. And then I like when the kids go into their bed and the room smells nice and fresh. So yes, definitely, definitely for Breeze, I use it multiple times a day. All right, here's something interesting. Gel socks. I love, love, love these. So I don't know if you watch Tuesdays with Tricky, but about a year ago, actually, yeah, a little more than a year ago, I started getting this weird patch on my foot. It's since gotten bigger. It got really scaly, ashy, itchy. Um, at first, I thought it was a fungus. We treated it as a fungus. Nothing happened. And it's actually eczema. It may be psoriasis. Um, I haven't done the, the test to see if it's psoriasis because um, the medication I'd have to take is like really intense so i've just kind of left it alone treating it as eczema it has gotten a, a little bit better but when i put on my medication in the night and then i walk around in my bed slippers or i go into bed i find that i've like rubbed off all the cream so i got myself a pair of gel socks inside don't it's a little dirty i, I wear them last night don't, don't worry um it has like a gel lining on the inside like a i guess what do you say silicone -y? it's yeah it's that's nice um, and then it has some little grippings on the bottom that in case you want to walk around you won't slide all over the place So I put on my medication on my feet and then I put on my gel socks And I just not only does it help the medication to not rub off in the sheets But I feel like it helps everything to kind of soak in and even if you don't have eczema on your feet it, Just nice soft feet are nice um, It got a little used to like got me a little used to I, got, I had to get a little. I had to get a little used to. Yeah, I had to get a little used to sleeping in socks. I would like wake up and I'd be so hot. You know, people lose heat through their head. I was losing heat through my feet, and like I didn't like it. I did not like it. I did not like it. My body got so hot, and I would wake up in the night and fling them off. It got a little getting used to, but now my feet are super, super soft. I still have the eczema. It's not as bad. One thing. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys just a little extra. Um, it's not on my list of my top uh, of my 10 things I use every day, although I've been using it more recently because um, I could live without this. I, I don't know. I'm just adding this into the list. So this cream, you can see it's well loved. The, the label has wiped off. I will have a link in the description to this. I believe why this foot cream is so special is because it has salicylic acid in it. Let me tell you, if you put on this with a pair of gel socks, you will wake up and your feet will be like baby's feet. So I'll put on my medication, then I'll put this on just to kind of coat it, then I'll put on my gel socks. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Is that me? Is that a... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right, oh, wow. But this is a really nice cream. I also use it on my hands. It's a really, really nice cream. Just makes everything nice and soft and yeah. So I would recommend you getting this and some gel socks. Next up, I've spoken about this before. I have them, well, I have one upstairs, one downstairs, one in the studio, a vacuum. So this is the Shark vacuum, and it's just a little handheld. It's extremely, extremely powerful. 
as you can see the little container here is full um, so there's a release button that releases this container and then I can just empty it it doesn't need a bag it does have a filter but um, usually I just take like an old toothbrush and I just clean out the filter and we're good to go um, I think I've replaced the filter I've had this like two or three years I think I've replaced the filter twice usually I just clean my filter um, but th this container here is very easy to empty the button is actually right here and as you can see or you can't see but it's full of snacks the kids like to come up in the evening with their little snacks their crackers their cookies we watch a show or we play like a game it's back to school so we'll play like a little board game or a family game read a story but I don't know I, I don't know if they miss their mouth completely but like the snacks go everywhere so I'll just vacuum up the snacks sometimes I'll just vacuum in the bed and we're good to go but yeah there's a lot of yeah there's a lot of grub in here raisins crack, lots of crackers anyway so a vacuum and of course the one in the kitchen it gets used so much um because there's always messes in the kitchen you know it's just a quick easy I, you know sometimes I grab the vacuum and I just vacuum the corners of the room because you know like things get stuck in the corner of the room like little hairballs and stuff anyway vacuum love this vacuum I'd recommend this one it's small um, it holds a good charge actually the battery in the one in the kitchen does not hold that much of a charge it maybe has like about 10 minutes working time but I've had these quite a while and they come in different colors I think they come in pink they come in blue but with the aesthetics of my house the gray was just the best just very neutral very you know this look like a serious you know you know like this nice dark metallic color this looks like it's, it's yeah heavy-duty going to work yeah pink one just kind of look like it's in clean up foolishness the next thing is a plug extender so I have different ones um, I have ones with a light um, I have this one here this has I don't know I guess it's just oh you know what you can push your couch way up onto it and what it will do is it will transfer your plugs to up at the top so I have two plugs um, electrical sockets and then two USB plugs and so now the couch can come all the way back um, yeah I have this one here which gives me plugs and USB ports I have um, one downstairs that gives me plugs USB ports and a little ambient light so I have these all over I can turn a regular plug into something that's way more effective because I find that we need to have the USB everything you know has a USB um, cable like you know so I, I use these a lot all over the place I actually have my light and my camera plugged into one so yeah love these oh wow <laughs> all right next up we have I like to call this the grabber so this can help me to reach my bottles my cans that are in the pantry that are harder to reach I bought this when I was pregnant because I was like oh I'm gonna need help shaving because my belly is so big I don't know I don't know how I don't know how this would have work but I bought this and then when I realized okay this is not for shaving I love this like it helps me do so many things as I said like my pantry I'll have things all over that I can't reach I just grabbed this Levi actually uses this every day because he like gets snacks that he can reach he likes using this to pinch my bottom um so you just it has a trigger here with a spring-loaded action and you just grab these little it's not really a suction cup it's like rubber to help you grip I don't know what I would do without this and this one in particular is really good how it just kind of grabs with the rubber cups here and because I bought another one because I was like oh this one looks so weird and you know you have this big wine it's taking up space I bought a sleeker one and it doesn't work as well as this so anything that I want to reach up high um, sometimes too I can use it to take down my clothes because my clothes hang high um, reach the shoes shoes up high so I actually have this in my pantry cupboard to help me grab the things in my pantry sometimes when I'm in the kitchen and I'm <laughs> that doesn't happen sorry <laughs> when I'm in the kitchen cleaning I yeah cleaning that sounds more like me and I just want to wipe off all the bottles in this um on the spice shelf rack I'll just pick them up and yeah tidy them off there so this is great I think these were 
are, I don't know what these were made for. But you usually see them like people doing cleanups and stuff like that so they're not constantly bending down. There was a time where my back was kind of hurting me and I used this in the playroom to help the kids just pick up the toys. It was so much easier than constantly bending over. But yeah, grabber. I use it, I just find so many random uses for it. Like I think a grabber is like a great idea. I just don't need to be bending over or reaching or you know, I don't need to grab a stool every minute. The grabber is a, is a great idea. All right, up next, Egyptian magic. I don't know what kind of magic. I don't know what part of Egypt. I don't even know what is really in this little container. But I had a big container of this and I had it for years. First of all, it took me forever to, to finish. To the point where I knew it was expired because it started to smell funny. Like I had it for years and it couldn't finish. So I ended up throwing that one away and buying this little one. So what I do with this, I'm trying to find the ingredients. Okay, so... Peace, divine love, perfect health, eternal wisdom, wisdom, and infinite blessings unto you, precious one. All right, so that doesn't really tell me much about the ingredients. Um, rub a moderate amount into your um, palms until it, oh, I don't do that, until it forms the oil, apply gently, oh, hold on, hold on. Ingredients, olive oil, beeswax, honey, bee pollen, royal jelly, propolis, Oh wow, it has a, okay, there is ingredients. Anyway, what I do from, I have been like a teenager, I have to grease myself for bed. Like the bedtime process on me, I just take a very long time. And what I do with this is I just take a little bit here on my finger and I rub under my eyes and I just give myself a little massage going up. Um, and I think that has really helped me not to get the crow's feet, so. I use Egyptian magic and then I use a little more and I just put on my lips. Um, if you know when you have cold and flu season and you're blowing your nose a lot and your nose just gets a little red and raw and stripping, I will use this. Usually that happens to Levi. Well, no, that's because Levi picks his nose. I'll just use this and rub on his nose. It's kind of like a cocoa butter. See, I'm just rubbing it in on my hands. It's like an all purpose thing. I'm sure I could have used it like as a, like a diaper rash cream. Yeah, it says all purpose skin cream. I just, I just like being. You know what it is? An oil seals in all of your other skincare. So I like to finish off with something oily, greasy, whatever. And this is really great. It has no smell. And this has a 36 month, so that's what, three years shelf life. I had my other one for a really long time. Yeah, Egyptian magic. Just all proper. And this, this is a nice um, size too. This is a one ounce. So this can fit in my handbag, this is great for traveling, and it's just in my bathroom. I use my Egyptian magic every single night. Um, before I was using this on my hands, I would just rub a lick. When I finish rubbing my lips and my eyes, I just rub, and it's super moisturizing, that lick a bit, and my hands feel moisturized. Um, then cuticles, you get it, man, you get it. You know what I mean, just rub down yourself, you're fine, just rub down yourself. And the final thing on the list, wait, let me just count my things, hold on. You know, math is, math is not my thing. One thing that I use every day, and I'm actually using it right now, this was on my um, Christmas things, videos, presents to get, is this phone stand. No, I prefer this phone stand, let's say, over this little folding with you. I mean, yes, this falls flat, this can be in my bag, right? But I find that when you have your phone sitting down in like the, the, the cradle and it doesn't have this space here, then you're not here, you're not gonna hear properly. So here's my phone. Don't tease me. Yes, I know. I have a little small phone. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. At least twice a week, people talk to me about why my phone's so small, okay? I'm saving up for the new iPhone 910 when it next comes out, all right? I don't want to hear about my little small 12 mini or whatever this is. I don't want to hear it, okay? Yes, my phone is small. It doesn't bother me. It's starting to bother me because y'all keep talking about my little small phone. So this is my phone. And you see right here, there's a space for this speaker. So you don't get that muffled sound and when you're speaking on the phone, people can hear you. Um, also, it has a hole in the back here so you can run the cable through to plug it in to charge. Oh, the speakers are, okay, sorry. The speakers, not this hole. The speakers are to the side right here. <laughs> Um, and it gives you a little bit of elevation. So if you're in a meeting, you know, doing um, one of your Zoom meetings, you can just sit nicely on your table and just be elevated a little bit um, to give you 
that height. Um, this was on my Christmas list because I thought this was a really great Christmas gift for a guy. Um, and I think once you buy it, you'll realize you know how cool it is and why I prefer it over some of my other um, cell phone stands. So there we go. And it looks nice and sleek too. All right, guys. That is about it. Those are my 10 things that I use every single day. Um, I hope that, you know, wait, no, I'm missing, I'm missing one. I'm missing one. I told you, I can't count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's ten. I want to talk about one more. Here's a little bonus, bonus, bonus. Okay, so one thing that I use every single day in my house, and I really wanted to mention it to you guys because it can help you to save money, is a Brita water filter. And I was unable to bring it up here simply because I can't bring the water up here. Everybody's drinking water downstairs. So what the Brita water filter is... Ta-da! Ah, I hope I picked... Did you put a picture there, Kenrick? I got you, homie! So what the Brita water filter is, is a water jug and in the top part is a filter, that a replaceable filter and it's a charcoal filter so what it does, it just filters all of your water so that you're getting nice crisp drinking water you replace the filter, I'm not sure how often I have that little reader on the top of mine that tells me when I need to replace the filter and this can help you to save tons of money you don't have to have the water truck come to your house to drop off those big plastic bottles of water so it helps to reduce your carbon footprint with the amount of plastic that you're using um, helps to reduce all the recycling because you just have all of those big buckles in your house the, the full one the big one the truck up and come to your yard to drop off water you don't have to waste gas boiling water I just I think the Brita water filter is an excellent idea all you have to do is just take two seconds and put it under the tap and it will filter your tap water what I usually do is like you know when my friends were moving into houses for their for themselves, I would always buy them a little housewarming gift and it was a Brita water filter. The filters are readily available here in Jamaica to buy, so I think it's a great gift. So that will be my bonus one. So if you're wondering like, I'm sure you're not wondering how to get fresh water to drink because I'm sure you've been drinking water. And you know what, our tap water in Jamaica is actually really, really good water. But if you just want to, you know, just filter it on a little bit, you can use your Brita water filter. So it's a one-time Actually, no, because you have to pay for the filters. But you have to pay for the Brita water filter, and then on top of that, you have to buy filters, which I don't think are that much. I think that's the Brita is one of the cheaper ways to get fresh drinking water. And it's right at your fingertips. Okay, so that's it now for my 10 things that I use every single day around my house. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please remember to like the video and make sure that you are subscribed for more content. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!